Ginkgo biloba. Weird name, what's the deal? Well, in this video I'm going to tell you all about how ginkgo biloba affects your body, whether it's safe to use, and if it's actually effective. So by the end of this video, you'll know all about ginkgo biloba and whether you should be taking it. Hey there guys, I'm Jesse Crow, the Travelling Scientist, and after studying years of pharmacology, I'm here to help you live smarter, happier, and healthier lives. Ginkgo biloba. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm going to say it. So, ginkgo biloba is an extract from the leaves of the maidenhair tree. Sounds pretty cool. Its main effect is that it improves blood flow, and it does this by inhibiting platelet aggregation, thereby allowing blood to flow more freely to your brain and to the rest of your body. And if you think good blood flow is important, then let us know in the comment section down below. Right now, comment something like, I bloody agree, because let me tell you, blood flow is pretty damn important. <laughs> this improved blood flow helps increase your memory and your focus, it improves your cardiac function, it reduces stress and anxiety levels, and as an added bonus, it even reduces your risk of Alzheimer's and dementia when you're really old. We are so old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Research has shown that ginkgo biloba is ineffective at improving memory and cognition. Wait, what? It's true. Every study on ginkgo biloba has basically shown that it has no beneficial effects in healthy humans. So companies might try to tell you that ginkgo biloba will improve blood flow and increase your brain's abilities to work out crazy maths equations or something, but there's no evidence that that's actually true. God damn it! That being said, the logic behind ginkgo biloba does make sense. It does improve your blood flow and there's no negative health effects. So if you believe that ginkgo biloba could help with your mental and physical state, then it probably will. I mean, try everything once, that's what I say. Except for line dancing. Never try line dancing. Now remember that I'm not a doctor, so if you disagree with my opinion, then I guess you can try line dancing, but just don't tell me about it, cause just don't. Anyway, you won't be able to get ginkgo biloba in your regular diet. Remember, it comes from the leaves of the maidenhair tree, which is pretty rare. So if you want to get that good blood flow going, you're gonna need to take a supplement. And the recommended daily dose is 100 to 300 milligrams per day. If you want to improve your memory and focus right now, you can download my free resource, Top Tips for Brain Health. That's in the description just down below, it's totally free, it's going to help you get smarter. And if you want to try taking ginkgo biloba, I've done some research and the best supplement that I could find is also recommended in the description just below. And if you use that link that I've provided, I get a little bit of money, which really helps me out, so thank you very much for that. Anyway, that's all for today guys, thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button down below. And let us know what you think about ginkgo biloba in the comment section down below. Finally, make sure you subscribe for more traveling science every single week. I'll see you guys next Science Sunday. Cheers. Ginkgo biloba. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm going to say it. Wait, what? Wait, what? It comes from the maidenhair tree, which is kind of rare. And the recommended daily dosage is... Forget. 100 to 300 milligrams per day.